key moment in the build-up to talks with the US on a trade and investment agreement. As Parliament prepares for a full vote on Thursday on the negotiating mandate, one question is whether it will support the decision to exclude audiovisual products. The talks are a meeting of like minds, as the two already share common standards and values. But MEPs say the elimination of remaining tariffs and opening up of public procurement could significantly increase bilateral trade volumes, which are currently put at around 700 billion euros a year. Kleine Prozentzahlen von großen Mengen ist mehr als große Prozentzahlen von kleinen Mengen. The President of the European Parliament, Martin Schulz, paused from the plenary session to deliver a sharp message to EU heads of state and government meeting in Brussels to brainstorm on tax evasion and energy. Two European scourges needed to be tackled to win back the trust of the people, youth unemployment and tax fraud and evasion. Der Steuerbetrug ist eine schwere Straftat, die in allen Ländern mit Gefängnis bedroht ist. Das ist kein Kavaliersdelikt. Und es ist im Übrigen ein, dramatisch, ein dramatischer Schaden, der der Gesellschaft insgesamt zugefügt wird, weil die Gerechtigkeit angegriffen wird. MEPs have been strengthening support for crime victims across EU borders. The legislation is for all, but primarily focuses on the most common victims of violence, sexual harassment or abduction, women and children. The idea, which MEPs agreed almost unanimously, is that they be granted equivalent civil and criminal protection in any member state. One MEP steering it through Parliament says there are wide discrepancies that need to be bridged. We can start from the best. Uh, they are uh, member states in which there is a full package of protection measures up to two years. We have member states in which uh, there are very short protecting uh, measures, uh, very limited as a scope, and member states in which there are no protecting uh, uh, measures or not compatible at least.